All right, so I want to do a little update here. Um, I know I've been absent for, I think, close to a couple weeks, or a little bit over a couple weeks now. Um, so I've been doing a lot of research and doing a lot of thinking about some things and gotten kind of far in some things, and I have uh, some stuff that I'm going to release. But I'll tell you about my current like things, my projects that I'm going to be focusing on. I guess those things. There's like maybe ten projects that I'm probably going to be focusing on, I guess. Um, however, first I want to show you, I think I have um, mostly, well, a full collection of Kurt Vonnegut's works. Um, I, ha I do. I, 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 there's a few things that I don't have, um, like possibly, I think he has a, he has a, he has a autobiography that I don't have. I know that. I know that there's um, something that has to do with um, Cat's Cradle that I don't have. That's like a like an extra thing about Cat's Cradle, like grandfather, some, some something something like that. I know I don't have that, but I have all of his main works. Um, and if if after this, if you think I, if, if, you, if there's one that I'm missing, then tell me. But I'll show I'll show you all of them. And now, because I, I believe I, I I went to the bookstore last week, and I think with that with the purchase of those books, well, I only purchased one book that was Vonnegut, but um, with that purchase, I think my collection is mostly complete. Um, well, there are things like the Sucker's Portfolio, Armageddon, and the Retrospect. I do have those there on my Kindle uh, app. So we'll go start with the smaller books. I have Slapstick, of course. Love this book. I had read it and I thought it was awesome. Love the Night. Read that. It was awesome. Uh, I've all the books that I've read, I have done videos on. So, um, Dead Eye Dick, another good one. Fantastic one. Uh, Galapagos, another great one. I love the cover on this. Just beautiful. Awesome book. Hocus Pocus, I've read this. Not my favorite of his, but I still love it. Slaughterhouse-Five. One of the main, main, main things that he's known for is Slaughterhouse-Five. Um, okay. And I have Signs of Titan, which I've been reading and I'm about halfway through on it. Um, this is not a work by Vonnegut, but I love it. It's um, uh, Love Always, Kurt. It's by, it's like kind of a, sort of a, sort of a, bi sort of a biography, but it's um, awesome. I, lo I, I love this book. All right, and I got a couple. This is one of a couple of, un, of unpublished short stories. Um, Book at the Birdie. This is a novel. This is Time Quake. Haven't read this one, but I want to really bad. Like a, the Bagambo Snuffbox. It's, you know, it's a collected, um, collected. Um, un, it's a uncollected short, short, short fiction by him. Um, awesome. I have I read some some of that. It says, God bless you, Dr. Kevorkian. I have not read it, but, but I will. Man Without a Country. Love that. Haven't really read it entirely, though. Cat's Cradle. Another one that's prob he's probably known for, along with Slaughterhouse-Five. Um, this is um, another um, collected collect fiction by him. Collected stories. Um, well, welcome to the Monkey House. Another novel, Bluebeard. Look at that, it's a weird looking thing. We'll, we'll be getting to this. Um, after I finish Signs of Titan, I'm either going to go to do um, Jailbird or I'll do Blue, Blue, Bluebeard. I'm not sure which. Um, Breakfast of Champions, read that, loved it. Tons of books here. Wild, Wild Mortals Sleep, um, I think. Yeah, this is another. Ooh, another this is another unpublished short short fiction. Player piano, loved that one. God bless you, Mr. Rosewater, loved that one as well. And um, the God bless you, Mr. Rosewater, I read over a year ago. Um, this is the one that I got at the bookstore. This is a autobiography. This is Palm Sunday. Love that. Um, we'll be, I'm gonna be trying to read that here. So. Talking about my uh, projects, 
I plan on focusing a few on a few different things. Um, I have prepared for um, videos first on Derrida's of grammatology. I have prepared for two videos, two big, two big videos on two parts of that of that, that book. So that's one thing. Number two, Michel Foucault's the the, the order of things. Um, I have prepared for um, one full big video on that, but I plan on preparing for uh, another one here soon. Um, another one is going to have to be, is definitely going to be um, Nietzsche's Thus Spoke, uh, the, the Spoke Zarathustra, and I did actually did two sections of that today. That's an ongoing big thing here. Um, it's another one here. Um, I should get my notebook and look at that. Yes, I have a ton of Vonnegut works here. It's crazy. That is not going to sit. Alright. And here I should have some of my, what I call focusing projects, things I'm focusing on. I have a lot of notes in here about Aristotle. Aristotle is one, is another one that I'm going to be focusing on Aristotle's metaphysics. Um, another one is Deleuze and Guattari's anti -Oedipus. Sorry, guys. This is the new notebook. I have a ton of notebooks, so I'm sorry about that. I have various notebooks uh, where I have a very, a varying different amount of things in every single notebook. Um, Alright. There we go. Uh, I also plan on um, continuing in my intro to, intro to philosophy course. It's another focusing thing. Um, and I'm also going to be going back to Henri Bergson at some point. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to Matter of Memory and try to redo that whole thing. I know I did that a while back, but I'm not sure how I'm not sure how good I did. So I might go back and redo Matter of Memory or that, or I might do Creative Evolution. Um, but I really want to get back into Henri into Henri, Henri Bergson definitely. Um, and I know that a while back I finished the first division of Heidegger's Being in Time. However. Um, there, I want to f go on to the second division, which is more about temporality. So I definitely want to go into that. So that's another one. Um, okay, there's this second one over here. There's another one here that I'm going to be doing. And I'm unsure of whether I want to continue with Hegel at this point. Hegel's, Hegel's phenomenology of spirit. I'm not entirely sure if I want to continue on that front or not. Um, I'm just kind of not entirely sure about that. Um, also, uh, Edmund Hostrell's Cartesian Meditations, I have most of that finished. I just have to finish the fifth meditation, so I need to do that, and that, that'll finish that one. Um, let's see here. What else? And I'm probably going to start another Nietzsche book. It's either going to be um, Beyond Good and Evil or The Gay Science. Um, I'm not sure about that one yet. Let me show you a couple more things that I got from the bookstore. This is by Jay Hillis Miller. It's for, for Derrida. It's a lot about Derrida in that book. This is just a book about essential readings of critical theory, which I thought was awesome. It has stuff like Adorno in it. Um, Adorno, Mar Marcuse, Horkheimer, um, Habermas, stuff like that. Um, yeah. So I'm, I also want to continue with, I want to start something else too. Um, so I'm thinking about either starting, uh, oh, another one that I'm doing is Jacques Lacan's Four Fundamental Concepts of Psychoanalysis that I have started and I have a video ready to film for that. Um, so about what I want to do next, well, I know I have a lot of ongoing projects, but I want to keep more ongoing projects and keep starting projects and have that continuing, continuing to go. Um, so I need some help from you as to which 
things I should or was well, I said which probably one of three things I'm going to mention here one of three things um, one of these three things is what is what I want one of my next focusing projects to be on I mean I have a good few here going however I want to start one more I'm going to give you a few options and I hopefully you will comment below and tell me which you think you would like me to go into um, first one would have to be um, would have to be uh, Paul Ricoeur's oneself as as another another one is Paul Paul Virilio's the information bomb um, or also um, gosh uh, Habermas um, I have the theory of of communicative action. And um, there I have both of the volumes, and I want to start this at some point, but I feel like other stuff has been uh, going first above it. However, all these books that I have here in this little shelf area, I have a little shelf next to my uh, desk here. I have a, basically at the front of my desk, I kind of re, re, rearranged it. I've, been, I've put, since I have basically a complete collection of Vonnegut, I put all my Vonnegut books up front there. And I have all these books over here, which is stuff I'm kind of concentrating on. Um, so, this has been there for a while, but I haven't really gone into it because I feel like other stuff has been kind of going go, going above it. So we have three options about my next project. It's going to be Habermas, the Theory of Communicative Action. This which will this will be a longer project because there's this volume plus you have the other volume. Or is it going to be Ricoeur's oneself as another? Um, or where's my other one? Uh, Virilio. Virilio's information bomb. This will be the short. This will be the shortest out of the three. This will be the next longest, and then this one will be the by far the longest. So again, let me know what you, th what you think about that. Oh, and also I'm gonna be doing some stuff on Whitehead, Alfred North Whitehead, and his speculative philosophy and process philosophy, which is something I've been wanting, wanting to get into for a while now. And I'll probably be doing some stuff um, about Homi Kebaba and uh, uh, Edward Said on their post-colonialism post and Orientalism. Um, so I have a lot of stuff coming. And I have a lot of things I'm doing right now. Um, so let me know what of those three things the Virilio, Ricoeur, and Habermas, which of those three things I should start a new new focusing project on. And if you don't, if you don't, if, if you don't, if you don't respond, I'll just pick, I'll just pick one. But um, I really, really would would love your feedback on that. So thank you for watching. I love all of you. I appreciate your patience with my little hiatus here, and the hiatus will be ending very 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 soon. Thank you.